see you. Ah, don't freeze. Freeze. Identified as Amos Edos Osamudame belongs to a former gang of suspected kidnappers that have been terrorizing Benin City and environs. I used to think skinny girl in transit was for only girls. But this changed when I saw a comment from a very handsome guy. Skinny girl in transit is for all gender. Hmm. Maybe this guy knows what he's saying. <laughs> and from that day, I said I shouldn't feel shame while watching this show. So I've missed four episodes of Skinny Girl in Transit and this is my new session called Recap with Wako. It is where I run through what really happened in the past episodes. And I do this so fast that this video would be done before your man finishes. That's impossible. <laughs> I'm not that fast. Before we talk about tough characters, let me get some things out of the way. And when I say some things, I mean Bond Dog and his wife. All they did for the last four episodes is show their kids to everyone. She holds one of her boo because her child is sucking everything. They, they take their child to work because this woman is trying to sleep with her husband. She carries her child's pictures and she shows her best friend that doesn't want children. That's all they do. They do a pre one year birthday shoot. That's actually very cool. I, I would have loved that, but my parents were in box stuff. <laughs> and their only saving grace is the man now wants to take their kid and her to their abroad. And I don't care. I don't care about them. One thing I like about SGIT is how they infuse cultures in their show. And so people will be like, what do you mean by that? In the last four episodes, they've taken the American culture and made it their own. I just told him that he's cancelled. Like unsubscribe the vibe just wasn't vibing do you get i mean if his jeep wasn't dripping enough i wouldn't have spoken to him i heard they really wanted to remind you all about high school musical because these people do not exist in nigeria at all who are these guys even this ring on your nose i have it no on your nose your nose auntie some people mistake we'll see as being dumb but i look at her different Think about this, if after 7 seasons with her surrounded by people who speak good English, if she has refused to learn English, don't you think she should be examined? Because I don't think she's special needs, she's like advanced special needs. <laughs> Honestly think is that thing on her forehead that makes her look like, like an Indian avatar. We should call her Avatar Putra, honestly. But this expert storytelling is why people keep coming back for more. A lot of the characters are grounded in reality, and sometimes a lot of them are not. And I can't blame them, this is Nollywood. If you can't make believe sometimes, we are not going to be able to exist. Like for instance, this man wants more kids, even though he has two other kids for another woman. And with the price hike that is happening now in the world, he still wants kids. Do you think this man exists in Nigeria? Another example is this guy gets hit in the nose. He's bloody. They send an invoice that the amount for everything they did for him is over one point something million. He pays for it. <laughs> he pays for it. <laughs> if it was me, I would lie down back <laughs> and tell them undo, 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 control Z, control Z. Oh, oh, and, and yes, yeah, she also wants to take him to the Maldives. You see what I said? Make believe. Nollywood, man. We stand on make believe. <laughs> But my biggest worry about this season is how they handle tough topics like tribal marriage. And look no further, they handled it well. They did what I did not expect. So they make this man, his name is Mohammed, if you guys don't know, he forfeits his possession for his babe because his babe feels uncomfortable because his dad wants him to marry someone. You already understand this gist. <laughs> Alright, so he, he forfeits his possession. He, he goes to meet her and tells her, babe, I, I just, I'm now poor because of, I forfeited my possession because of you. And she's like, Honestly, I can't move further with this. I know acceptance was my biggest problem for the past five episodes, but right now, I don't want the acceptance anymore. Which is weird, but I understand. Then what does the show do next? They take a random Yoruba guy and they put it together. So they, they did not handle the very tough topic. Rather, they did the same thing with another tribe. <laughs> Wonderful. If I had to tell them one thing as a takeaway, it would be that they should drink lots of water, you know, eat your vegetables, and get at least eight hours of rest a night. new love interest is a doctor, and a lot of girls like him because of his deep voice. He sounds like he's always on a podcast episode. All you just have to do is slap a mic on his mouth, put a headphone on his head, and, and give him a script that starts with, women should be submissive, and uh, that's all we need. <laughs> we are trending on TikTok.
I feel she's she cries in every episode. I find it hard to believe. <laughs> Let me be honest. I'll drop all the jokes here. Staying here in Chance is a show that helped my channel when I started. And I would always hold it dear to my heart because in as much as other shows have come and gone, this show remained. And I love it for that. But one issue I have noticed is the pacing. It, it feels off and the stakes are not as high as I expect it to be in this new season. And I wish it picks up. Like I wish this guy cheats on his wife. It, it, it sounds cliche but... But that's why we watch YouTube series. For cliche, give me that. I, I, I watched that since that's my dams. I'm not saying upstairs. But I am still waiting for a big bang and I pray it happen. And if it doesn't happen, I guess I have to call them out, man, on my podcast with Troy from High School Musical. Who, who watched that show? Okay, guys, I did not want the episode to be long. I just had high points and I said let me just brush on it. That's why the episode is short. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, uh... Tomorrow is they are dropping a new episode. <laughs> There's no need for me to make a long review. So next week you guys get the better review. Bye. <laughs>